Apple's next generation Extreme X supercomputer is based on industry standard optimized server. Uh, the platform will support both two and four socket uh, nodes, uh, both from uh, Intel and AMD. We have the capability to combine CPUs and GPUs to provide a, a, a dual wide hybrid uh, uh, systems within the same uh, Extreme X platform. Uh, we support in terms of the interconnects, both um, uh, InfiniBand as well as uh, Ethernet uh, ne for needed customers. Uh, in the case of InfiniBand, we have the current generation QDR as well as the FDR qualified. In terms of the topologies, we uh, deliver, we already delivered both the single rail and dual rail um, fabrics uh, as well as uh, we delivered systems with uh, factory topology or class topology and uh, uh, 3D torus topologies. So the APRO HPC software stack is a full stack that's developed for our HPC customers so that they have everything they need as uh, supported from APRO. So we start with the OS, uh, which is typically Red Hat, and as we work our way up, we have our APRO cluster engine which we've developed to provision the servers, to manage the system, to monitor the system, all from one point of control. And we've developed uh, support for Lustre for various parallel file systems. We have uh, job scheduling with Grid Engine. Uh, we support the key MPI versions, and we have a special relationship with Intel MPI where we have had Intel develop uh, key features for the topologies that we support. So we also support the uh, development tools such as the compilers and the monitoring tools to get the best uh, performance out of the system. Our APRO HPC software stack and our ACE software can manage capacity computing clusters, hybrid computing clusters, data intensive computing clusters, and capability computing clusters. Well, this year you're going to see APRO's uh, investment in engineering and our, our commitment to customer support paying off with some big wins in the HPC market. Uh, you'll continue to see customers coming back to APRO uh, to do custom design engineering and to develop new systems.